The movie opens with the introduction of a character named Norman Glass, a man of maturity and stability. He is seen in his office, engaged in a conversation with his colleague Roy. During their discussion, Roy brings up a project and suggests that Dennis, a friend of Norman's from the accounting department, would be the ideal person to oversee it. After their meeting, they step out of the room and engage in a casual conversation about a woman whose husband had recently passed away just 13 months into their relationship. Norman expresses his uncertainty about how he would cope with the loss of a loved one in such a short span of time. In the meantime, another woman at the reception desk overhears their conversation. Intrigued by Norman's viewpoint, she inquires about the location of his office. The receptionist directs her, and she promptly makes her way to Norman's office. Upon entering, she notices a photograph on his desk, a picture of a woman. She then immediately transforms her whole look and appearance to resemble the woman in the picture. Not long after, Norman returns to his office to discover a stunning woman sitting at his desk. Her beauty captivates him, and she introduces herself as Addie. The narrative then fast-forwards to a year later, where we see Addie and Norman celebrating their first wedding anniversary. They are joined by Norman's friend Dennis and his wife Barbara. Coincidentally, it's also Dennis and Barbara's anniversary. The two couples are thoroughly enjoying themselves, laughing and sharing jokes. Norman expresses his appreciation for Addie, who baked a beautiful cake for the occasion. Dennis also compliments Addie, declaring her the second most wonderful woman in the world, second only to Barbara, whom Addie introduced him to. He raises a toast to express his gratitude for having Barbara in his life, and the two begin to flirt. Norman and Addie share a tender moment, with Norman assuring her of his everlasting love. The evening concludes with both couples toasting their anniversaries. Later that night, we see Norman and Addie in their bedroom, continuing their celebration. Addie repeatedly assures Norman of his love for her, to which he responds affirmatively, and they share an intimate moment. At midnight, Norman awakens to find himself alone in bed, puzzled about where his wife could have gone at such an hour. He goes downstairs and finds her at the computer. He sneaks behind her to scare her jokingly, but when he approaches to lick her neck, he tastes a sour taste and is disgusted by it. Addie turns around to find her husband complaining about the taste of her neck. He unintentionally says it tastes like something dead, and Addie gets offended by his word choice. She cries and heads upstairs to the bathroom while Norman stands there telling her he's sorry. Addie immediately steps into the shower, attempting to cleanse herself of an unpleasant odor. Norman follows her to apologize but is startled by a monstrous reflection of Addie in the mirror. He looks directly at her and she appears normal. He wipes the mirror and only sees Addie's usual reflection. When Addie comes out of the shower, she questions why he's there. Still confused, Norman says he came to apologize. Addie dismisses his apology as unnecessary. Once he leaves, she breaks down in tears, overwhelmed by fear. The following day, Addie makes Norman's preferred breakfast, but he rushes out without eating. As he's leaving, Addie asks for a kiss and jokingly asks if she tastes sour. He dismisses her with a smile, but outside he realizes he can't taste anything from her kiss. Concerned about his sense of taste, he visits his doctor at the hospital. Norman tells his doctor about the taste from Addie's kiss the night before and how he can't taste her now, though he can taste other things. The doctor suggests it might be a coincidence and advises him not to worry. Later, Norman visits his friend Dennis's house. Barbara answers the door and reveals that Dennis left her the previous night. Norman is surprised by the sudden split and tries to understand more. He notices the lights are off and finds all the bulbs are broken. He asks Barbara about their separation, as Dennis has always felt fortunate to have her. Barbara, sipping her wine, seems despondent and tells Norman that Dennis was uncharacteristically harsh with her. Norman reassures her that Dennis will return and leaves. As he drives away, Addie arrives at Barbara's house from the backyard. She had arrived before him. She expresses disbelief at the unfolding events, and Barbara tells her they share the same fate and disaster is inevitable. It becomes clear that Addie and Barbara are not as they seem. In the evening, Norman and Addie discuss her new romance novel and their friend's separation. Addie expresses her fear that they might end up like their friends, 
but Norman reassures her. They plan to have dinner and spend a private evening together. However, when Norman tries to kiss Addie, he smells something unpleasant but blames it on the garbage. Addie realizes that Norman is referring to her scent and feels upset. The next day, Norman asks his colleague Roy if he has ever experienced anything unattractive about a woman, but Roy can only think of superficial things like a bad haircut or too much makeup. Later, Barbara visits Addie at their house. She asks if Norman is home, but Addie tells her he isn't. Barbara continues her conversation with Addie comfortably. She wants Addie to see her new looks and starts to shift herself into a completely different woman. Addie is casually looking at her, making comments on her looks. Barbara then chooses a black woman's appearance. She inquires about updates on Addie's marriage and suggests that Addie think about her next move. Addie goes downstairs, uninterested in Barbara's advice, and heads to grab a drink. Barbara insists that it is only a matter of time before she is discovered, but Addie insists that this time it's different because she loves Norman for Rayal. Addie, at this point, seems to be irritated by the confrontation and tells Barbara that she is not like her. She mentions that she is not only giving Norman physical intimacy but also friendship and love. Barbara replies that it has to end at some point and that a sense of love and friendship cannot change her true self. Next, Norman meets Dennis at the park. Dennis is terrified, and he tells Norman that Barbara is stalking him. He describes a horrifying experience with Barbara, and while doing so, Barbara appears. Dennis runs away from her, gets hit by a car, and dies. Norman is shocked and mourns his friend's death. At Barbara's house, people offer their condolences. Norman tries to comfort Barbara and smells perfume. Barbara tells him it's new and European. She suggests that everyone eventually loses everything and says she's moving on to start fresh. That night, Addie comforts Norman about Dennis's death, but Norman just sees her and tells her that as everybody gets wrinkled and bulkier, she is getting more beautiful every day, and it's surprising. However, Addie suddenly hops on his lap and starts arguing that what happened to the other couples doesn't have to happen between them. She tries very hard to convince him that everything is okay and tells him she loves him. He kisses her hesitantly, but Addie is pushing him to be intimate with her right there. He falls for it and they passionately start to make love. Meanwhile, Norman feels Addie's back changing into something slimy and jelly-like. He checks his hand but finds it just fine. He turns his face around, hating the horror he's experiencing, and Addie hangs behind him, crying out that it is just her. The next morning, Norman heads back to his doctor to find out what's happening to his mind. The doctor tells him that such symptoms could be hysterical blindness, but Norman points out why he would have a sudden severe psychological problem. The doctor eases the situation and tells Norman not to beat himself up. That night, when Norman comes home from work, he is surprised by his wife Addie and other friends and co-workers. Addie tells him she did it because he has been stressed lately and she wanted to throw him a party. Roy comes up to him and mentions how great of a wife Addie is and how jealous he is of him. While Norman is sitting, his doctor shows up, and to his surprise, he is invited by Addie. Norman is terrified that Addie communicates with his doctor. The doorbell rings and Norman opens it. It is a friend of Addie that turns out to be Barbara herself, but Norman doesn't know this because she shifted her looks to a completely different woman. Norman, at this point, is having difficulties wrapping his mind around the incident. Strange things are happening so fast regarding his wife. He heads to the balcony to get some fresh air and Roy comes to ask him to come inside. Norman vents out all his suspicions and feels that something is going on but Roy assures him he has the perfect wife anybody can wish for. Roy then heads inside and is seen talking with Addie. However, Norman appears and sees the two chatting, and he suspects his wife is fooling everyone around him and turning against him. Later, after the party, Norman asks his wife how she came across his doctor, let alone ended up inviting him to the party. He has lost it at this point and looks afraid. He tearfully asks her if he's really going mad and insane. He says everybody envies his life, but he feels troubled. Addie tells him she loves him and that they will go through this, and maybe they need a vacation. He agrees, and the two now seem reconciled. Addie then heads to the kitchen to make him a sandwich, and he heads to the sofa to relax. However, he finds a gift on the table that was brought by Addie's friend. When he opens it, he finds a Chinese mystical toy that has multiple layers. When he starts to open them one by one, he starts to hear that slimy, jelly-like sound as Addie walks in the kitchen. When he turns around, 
He sees the scary figure he once saw in the reflection in the bathroom mirror. He drops the toy, terrified, and follows her steps to make sure. But when she turns her face around, she seems to be just herself, appearing as human as before. Norman then goes back to the sofa, terrified of the assumed hallucination. However, Addie, still knowing the man isn't hallucinating, rushes to the bedroom crying. Meanwhile, Norman continues to hear the slimy footsteps of his wife. He keeps telling himself that it's just his mind playing tricks on him, and that Addie doesn't sound like the slimy sound. We see Norman almost going insane. He then goes to their bedroom upstairs to apologize for the way he acted and plead for her forgiveness. He tells her it's because he is sick, and Addie tells him it's okay. He then asks her why she is in the dark room not turning the lights on, and Addie strangely says she doesn't want him to really see her for who she is. He tries the light bulbs, but they are broken, remembering the incident at Barbara's house. He suspects something and asks what's happening. Addie then sadly reveals that she can no longer control what he can see or hear. She says it's always a year after being with someone that their power breaks down. The mind somehow becomes immune to her control. She says she knew it was coming but believed in their love and friendship, thinking this time would be different. But the time came and he tasted and smelled her real self. She also confesses that she was afraid and blocked all his senses at one point, but she is through with all of that right now. Addie then suddenly heads to the light coming through the window and reveals her true self to Norman, who turns out to be a shape-shifting alien from another planet. The slimy, scary jelly creature that was disguised as a woman named Addie keeps approaching Norman to convince him that her love still remains for him. Shocked, Norman backs off, but he's stuck. Addie, the creature, confronts and pins him to the wall revealing her love for him by licking his face. Norman screams, disgusted and scared. But as the scene cuts, we see him being taken by an ambulance. He is still screaming to be let go but is strapped to the bed to be taken to a mental institution. He looks from afar at the house and sees Addie and her shape-shifting alien friend Barbara. They look sympathetic, but we understand they have been executing this sinister plan and getting away with it. Before the film comes to an end, we see Addie one last time at the park, jogging and enjoying the view. She is, as always, stunning and young, and seems to be looking for another man to be with. A young man runs toward her, and she quickly shifts her face into that of some cute athletic woman whom the man finds really attractive and talks to. She introduces herself as Stacy, and we see her taking off with her next victim.